Today, I'm going to be filling up holes that are on the wall. And this is the product called Dry Dex, where um, when you apply it on as it's wet, it's gonna be pink. And then after a few hours later, it's gonna dry up as white. So it should be ready to go, especially on a white wall. But this is what it looks like. So what you wanna do is you're gonna remove the cap, which I already did, and you're going to cut the nozzle to your desired opening size. And this is what it looks like. I cut into a really small hole, as you can see here. And let's begin. Just to give you guys an example, these are the holes on the wall that I'm going to be filling up with the dry decks. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, this side of the wall has huge holes. There are also big holes like this one, which I'm gonna fill up as well. We're gonna start with this hole right here and I'm gonna squeeze as much as I can. Ooh, I have no strength to squeeze at all. Hold on. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like when you squeeze it. And you're gonna fill the hole all the way in as much as you can. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that one fell. Move it up. Hold on guys. Okay, so I filled as much as I could in this particular hole and I'm gonna use a putty knife, which you can see here, and I'm gonna scrape it down to make it flat and even to the best of my ability. Won't be perfect, but at least I'm trying. This is what it looks like after I fully flatten it out with the putty knife. As you can see, there was like excess around the corner of the hole and I kind of just, you know, scrape it off because I didn't want to leave that there. It would be helpful if you have some sandpaper that I guess you can either get at Home Depot or if you have extra at home and you can just sand this down after um, a few hours later. Don't forget guys, remember to dry the surface of the wall, make sure that it's completely clean, there's no residue or webs or anything dirty in the holes, because you want to make sure that it's completely clean and dry before you apply the dry decks on it. Okay guys, this is what it looks like as a final result. As you can see, all the holes are completely filled up. It's totally white and pretty again. And you can't even tell from afar. Obviously, if you see up close, you'll notice that there are holes, but from afar, it actually looks like it blends in with the white wall. This whole project actually took me about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's not that bad and totally easy to do. If I can do this, you guys can too. <laughs> I'll make sure to leave the product's link in the description down below. Don't forget to drop a comment down below, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!